This is a Benamar Tessero T482. It is just under 7.4 meters long. What's interesting is that it's plated at three and a half ton, and that means that you can drive this on an ordinary car license. You don't need an upgrade, which is very good. It's based on the Ford chassis, as you probably noticed for yourself, and it's 170 horsepower, horsepower, horsepower even, and you probably noticed that for yourself as well. But there it is, quite a smart looking vehicle with a silver metallic cab, and a very, very interesting layout on this one. Let's go and have a look. We'll take a trundle around the outside first of all, there's a couple of things to show you. This one's a water filler, again, probably figure that out for yourself. And this is where the gas bottles would live. They tuck in there, a pair of those. And if we come on back a little bit further, we'll discover that there's quite a nice little storage area underneath here. It's illuminated. You can see there's a ladder in there as well, two ladders in fact, and that'll become clear why we have those when we go inside. There's a heater outlet in there as well. So if you put in you know, wet shoes and wet clobber and that sort of thing in there, it can dry out. But yeah, a nice, useful little area, that. If we come on around to the back, we've got the fittings to attach a bike rack. We've got reversing camera on this one as well. And then on this side, we've got the cassette for the toilet here, and also the 240 volt power plugs in just here. But it's the inside that is particularly impressive, in particular, the social spaces on this, which are brilliant. So if we head on in here and take a look first of all, you'll see what I mean, but this isn't it, or at least this isn't all of it. So you've got a very nice seating area here. You've got obviously the two seats that swivel around seating on this side, and you've also got seat belts for this one. So it'll seat four whilst you're driving. It'll also sleep four, and I'll explain that as we go a bit further through the video. This one extends, so there is a button underneath here he says, stroking it gently. <laughs> Hang on. There it is. I'm completely the opposite place to where I was looking. And that then, if you've got two hands free, <laughs> there we are, will spin out like that. So you can extend that table quite a bit, which is great for dining, of course. Manual gearbox on this one, it's the six speed. We've also got the screen here for the reversing camera and the satellite navigation. I mentioned it was based on the Ford chassis, so you've got the Ford steering wheel with the controls on, as you might expect. If we come on back a bit then, there's storage up in places like this, and there's also the kitchen over here. What's nice with this is there's quite a decent bit of work surface here. You've got it in the corner there. Sometimes you don't get that at all. Um, sink underneath there, cooker here. This one is two gas and one electric. So if you're plugged into the mains, you use the electric. And of course, if you're not, well, then you can use the gas. And you've also got the oven and the grill down underneath there. Extractor fan on this one as well. That's tucked away underneath there. And a bit more storage in there. Some quite nice lighting about the place as well. The other thing you've got here is these, which are excellent, like a little sliding pantry. Same there. And also, your fridge is here, and your freezer above it, but also a microwave. So you're really covering all the bases with this. The microwave will only work off the 240 volt power, of course, but then you can have got the gas oven as well. But as I say, if you are plugged in on the campsite, well then <laughs> you've got plenty of capability for cooking. I like the way they've done the lighting in here. That looks really nice. And if you come round over onto this side, this is quite nice. This is just a little area for bottles down in here. Light switches are here. There is a power socket and an aerial socket here. That means you can put a TV on here if you want to. And up above that, we have the control panel for the vehicle. So this is giving us battery voltage for the, uh, for the engine battery. Also, we've got the leisure battery here as well. We've got water tank levels, so fresh water, and also um, lighting, water pump, all that kind of stuff all switched from there. And this one is the Truma heating control. So if we light that one up, you can see that's the inside temperature. It's a very warm day today, as you can probably tell. But if you hit the unlock screen button, there we go. Then you can get into things like the actual heating control. So we might want to have ventilation today, for example. Um, 
there we go that's ventilation you can go to heating in here as well um, what else have we got in here all sorts of canning things hot water is controlled from here so yeah everything to do with the Truma heating which runs off of the gas or off of the 240 volt you can configure from there also smoke alarm and the carbon monoxide alarm are tucked away in there worth mentioning that the fridge as well actually will run off of the 240 volt power or off of the gas and it will keep cool from the engine or from the 12 volt from the engine battery as well when you're driving now in here is the loo and the sink but also a very nice shower because you've got these doors here that come across and give you a completely separate shower area that's a really good size you've got the obscured glass obviously for privacy all of these have got blinds on as well so these come up like this or down as bug screens because these windows will actually open and then there's bits of storage in places like that and ventilation as you can see up in the top in fact those bug screens are everywhere there's even one across the door which is here there we go these windows open these hatches open i should have shown you this one i was at this end <laughs> but never mind we'll go back uh, and again exactly the same kind of thing bug screens and night screens for all of those same here same here all opening all coverable and i mentioned the social layout look at this back here this is fantastic so as we're going past it i'll show you this which is a very nice storage area. Also, there's a table in there, as you can see, and a table leg all tucked away, hanging rail as well. Very, very useful area. And that table will go in the center back here. But that's a lovely area. You've got your big windows all the way around. Again, they all open. As I say, table go in there. It's brilliant for a family because you can have adults back here having a drink. You can have the kids up there watching TV. <laughs> Just superb. And you might wonder then, with all this seating, well, where do you sleep? Well, I'll show you. Incidentally, another place for TV there with the power socket and the, uh, the aerial sockets. But check this out, because this is rather smart. There's a button here, and that launches the bed. There we go. That is what one of those ladders was for. Really, really good size. So at night, that turns into a fantastic bedroom area. And in fact, what you can do with that if you want to, is you can take those cushions off. You can see we're just down resting at the minute. And you can bring this down even further so it's resting on these. So it really is at knee height. It's just like getting into a bed at home. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's power that back up. With that down, you've still got the windows, which is nice. So when you're lying in bed, you've got the windows around you as well. Absolutely brilliant. That's where that ladder hooks into, obviously. <laughs> Not when it's all the way up there. And there is somewhere, where is it? I think it's in here, this one here, the ability to manually crank that so you can see it just here there we go I'll point the camera at it you can anyway which means that if you had a kind of power failure or systems failure you can still operate that bed manually you shouldn't need to but it's very nice to have the backup so that's two and the other two are up here this operates in exactly the same way but not today because for some reason I can't get that to come down probably user error but nonetheless that's what that is does exactly the same thing comes all the way down big double bed absolutely fantastic so you've got two really decent beds and they tuck away completely I think that's absolutely brilliant but I said right at the beginning what a social vehicle this is and I think you can see what I mean you've got two distinct fantastic living areas kitchen in the middle big bathroom, big fridge, plenty of storage, superb. Okay, I'm going to come back here, I'm going to take a seat, and I'm going to say massive thanks to the Marquis Motorhome and Caravan Centre, because they organised this tour. I'll put a link to those guys in the description. Huge thanks, as ever, to you guys for watching it. Let me know what you think of that one, and we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.